Say hi. Hi, hi guys. <laughs> yeah. What? That's okay, or should I say something? Yeah. What do you want to say? What should I say? Hey YouTubers, it's Michael from Plant Academy. I'm here with another video. It's been a little while, so here we are. Something a little bit different for you today. I've got a special guest. Let me introduce the newest member of Plant Academy, Faraz. Hey guys. Listen, Faraz, I'm so glad you're here because finally I have somebody that can debate some things with me about P6 because you know P6 really well as well. Yes, I'm also happy to debate with you, Michael. Okay, it's on. Let's see what happens. Yes, let's see. It's CPM, the critical path methodology. Wrong. I think it's navigating P6. When you navigate P6, you get used to a lot of functionalities of P6. You see above CPM and what you have to do before CPM as well. So navigating P6, I think is very important for a newbie. I disagree. CPM is the most important thing. Forward pass, backwards pass, how the calculations work, total flow, critical path. It's the most important thing. Still, CPM is a part of P6. When a newbie comes and he starts learning basics, he needs to understand what files do, what view function do, what edit functions do. So once he navigate to each function, he will get a feel of it and then there will be a motivation to move forward with it. Hmm. I think number one thing to practice for a newcomer is to build a sample small projects. Do you agree, Michael? No, not at all. It's most important to audit other people's schedules and to steal and borrow ideas from them. That's most important. Even when you steal or review the other project, it is important to practice your sample project, try to build it, take a small project, get some error out of it, and then you will learn from it. That's why it is a regular practice process. If you just see, you may forget it as well. Of course we got to practice, yeah. but it's so important to audit other people's schedules to learn how they built them, what makes those ones good, what works, what doesn't work. Of course, don't steal the bad ideas, only steal the good ones. And to recognize the good ones, you need to understand how things work, which you can learn by practicing the sample projects. You may have a point. So Faraz, as the number one expert on YouTube talking about P6, I think the most important thing that newbies should never do is to try to program dates into P6. Let P6 program the dates for you. That's what it does, it's a scheduling tool. Don't try to get in there and make activities land on certain dates. I see it time and time again. When a new person comes in, he jumps into YouTube. And once he starts learning YouTube, he learns pieces, as you say. He will learn about dates, he will learn about activities. But he needs a well-structured course where he can learn from start to end and someone to guide him to avoid making mistakes and solving errors too. Hmm, you might have a point. Hey, we have courses on P6 at planacademy.com. The best training on planning and scheduling from theory to Primavera P6 from beginner to the very advanced level, also forensic delay analysis courses. We have got it all. The technical skills and the know-how that you'll need to succeed in project controls. So check out our courses. I'll leave a link below. Check them out. Faraz, it's been good having you here. Uh, I appreciate the lively debate. We should do this again sometime soon. I disagree with you. I hope we can have more chats like this again in the future. I'm thinking what to say, hold on. Yeah. Yes, I agree, it was a healthy discussion and we disagree to certain points, but we all know we are in the same boat, so. No, that's too nice, yeah. it was better. No, too nice? Okay. Yeah, it was better.